Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Friday, May the 1st, the Feast of Saints Philip and James, the Apostles. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 1, and Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7 through 18. And please join me in singing the third verse of the second paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. God's sovereign power without our aid made us of clay and formed us then. And when like wandering sheep we strayed, God brought us to the Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts, and we have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia. Psalm number one. And please recite together with me. Alleluia. Blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the wicked nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit at the seat of the scornful, but whose delight is in your law, and in your law do they meditate day and night. And they shall be like a tree planted by the rivers that brings forth fruit in due season. Their leaves shall not wither, and whatever they do shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind blows away. And therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For you know the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia. A lesson from Proverbs, chapter 4, beginning at verse 7. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom, and whatever else you get, get insight, and prize her highly, and she will exalt you. She will honor you if you embrace her. She will place on your head a fair garland, and she will bestow on you a beautiful crown. Hear, my child, and accept my words, that the years of your life may be many. I have taught you the way of wisdom. I have led you in the paths of uprightness. When you walk, your step will not be hampered, and if you run, you will not stumble. Keep hold of instruction. Do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked and do not walk in the way of evildoers. Avoid it, and do not go on it. Turn away from it, and pass on. For they cannot sleep unless they have done wrong. They are robbed of sleep unless they have made someone stumble. For they eat the bread of wickedness, and they drink the wine of violence. 
but the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, which shines brighter and brighter until full day. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Together. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We delight in your law, O Most High God, and walk in your ways. Grant us your blessings, and may all our endeavors find favor in your sight and prosper. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.